Today, we're going to talk about conventions and verb moods. You can follow along on page 52 in your textbook. Verbs can express different moods. Speakers and writers express their attitudes through the verbs that they use. Here are three common verb moods. Indicative, which state facts and or opinions. Imperative, which issues commands or make requests. And interrogative, which poses or asks questions. Let's look at some examples of the different types of verb moods. The first one again is indicative. Indicative states facts or opinions. Librarians aren't as bad as they seem. This is an opinion that libraries, librarians aren't that bad. Imperative, again, gives a command or direction. Just be yourself. That is a command to be yourself. And finally, interrogative. Interrogative asks a question. What are you reading anyway? Again, we're asking a question. Sometimes writers and speakers shift between indicative and imperative moods in jarring and confusing ways. Let's look at the examples below and then correct the improper mood shift in the following sentences. Example, students should come to class prepared, arrive on time. The first part of the sentence is indicative and the second one is imperative. This is a weird switch. The sentence should read, students should come to class prepared. They should arrive on time. Let's go ahead and write these examples in your textbook on page 52. Our first sentence says, number one, dancers should try to perform in public. Wear colorful costumes. The first sentence is indicative. The second sentence is imperative. It would be much better if both were indicative. Let's look at the sentence like this. Dancers should try to perform in public and they should wear colorful costumes. Now the sentence reads as indicative. Number two, authors may write about themselves and use what you know. Again, the first part is indicative and the second part is imperative. Again, we want both parts of the sentence to be in the indicative voice. So we would rewrite the sentence like this. Authors may write about themselves and they may use what they know. Go ahead and practice now using the interrogative, imperative, and indicative verb mood for the following worksheet. This worksheet will be collected in class. 